decided to show up after what? Probably a few hours? <laughs> Judging by how you are just hanging your mouth open, I think it's safe to guess that you didn't expect somebody like me to be down here. What did they tell you up there? That there was some sort of monster? Some sort of terrifying beast? Something that will rip you to shreds in your sleep? <laughs> By the silence, I would say that I'm right. Okay, you can close your mouth now. I think leaving it ajar like that's a bit rude, don't you think? Hmm. Oh, all is forgiven, I guess. Anyway, why'd you come here? After so many people, or beings, I should say, warned you about me in this place, why did you decide to come down? Mm -hmm. mm. Curiosity got to you, huh? Well, I can see that. You do seem to be the inquisitive type. Mm, I'm not saying that in a really bad way. I'm just saying that... Well, that's how you look. Hmm. Well, now I have to know, at this point, what did they say about me this time? Oh, basically what I just said? Oh, that's no fun. That's not inventive at all. At the very least, they could have come up with something more creative. Hmm? Why am I down here? <laughs> really, it's kind of a hell of a story. And a long one to tell at that. I can try and shorten it if you want. But it's gonna take a minute. Hmm. Well... If you didn't notice, I'm not exactly from here. I live in a completely different dimension, but I came down here at least once to help my cousin out with something. Turns out that the creatures here in the shadows don't really like when entities, creatures like me, help humans. It's a strange, strange thing, but they think that you all should just crash and burn on your own. And don't get me wrong, it's quite entertaining when humans start to lose their minds, but that's just my species talking. I actually do sympathize a little bit more than others in terms of mm, stress in humans. My brother recently actually married a human and that kind of started to give me a little sympathy towards your species. Hmm? Right. Why am I down here? Well, after helping a few humans in a row, as in, I kept them safe. I think the creatures of the shadows had enough of me, and they sort of lured me down here and trapped me. I know, I know, it's 
a little weird. Especially considering what I am, you would think, why don't you just break out? You see, there is a kind of weird, dark magic here. At least within this cabin. Haven't you noticed something strange about here? <laughs> right. Humans aren't the most perceptive individuals. Well, I'm sure once I explain it to you, things will be different. You were up there, right? On the ground floor, and things were pretty perfect, comfortable, inviting. And how does it look down here? Mm -hmm. Dark and desolate will definitely do it. Well, this down here is exactly what it is up there. They just masked it to sort of lull you into a false sense of security. That way, you'll just relax, not worry. <sighs> Sorry, I heard that banshee earlier and it completely woke me up from my sleep and ruined my day. But as I was saying, they coated it with some magic to make it look more peaceful and a lot more like home. <laughs> it did look familiar, didn't it? That's because the spell or magic or whatever makes it look like your home. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You're not the only one who sees it too. Say another human comes by here and they also have to go into this cabin for a little bit. Well, what you see isn't going to be what they see. They will see their living room, not yours. So, don't think you're too special. Not at all. In fact, this is probably one of the most generic spells I've ever come across. However, down here, they sort of bound me to the basement. Well, technically, I don't need to eat. I enjoy eating every now and again, but it's not a necessity. So, I just stay down here, rest, sharpen my beautiful little knife here, and just wait. Wait for the time that the spell is up, and then I would be free to go. Who cast it? Honestly, I don't know. Whoever didn't like me the most, I guess. They said I interfered a bit too much. Killed a lot of the shadow entities. Because what I have is way stronger than what they do. So naturally, they're not the biggest fan of, well, me in general. Why haven't I been rescued? Oh, I was almost rescued once, but I started to scream bloody murder, telling them to just leave me alone, and that if they don't, they'll be stuck down here with me. Turns out, a lot of my kind don't like to be trapped down here, me included, because our homes are pretty brightly lit, very nice looking. So, a dark and desolate place like this would drive anybody crazy. Hmm? Our 
bring you back to this place? Hell no. You are more than capable of leaving if you wish. They just will do their best to make this place look as inviting and as peaceful and comfortable as possible. How do I know? Well, one of the main reasons as to how I know is because, well, more people have come here and I did try to warn them. Unfortunately, that wasn't enough, and they ended up being trapped here themselves. If you look upstairs, all those pictures on the walls, they're not of you or your family. They're photos of the ones who didn't escape. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them. So honestly... If you don't want to be stuck here like me, I suggest you move along, and you move along fast. <laughs> Why should you trust me? If I could get out of here, I could, but I can't. Fortunately for you, you can, and I don't want you to experience what I am experiencing right now which is topped off with a little bit of frustration and a little bit of envy. I wish I could get out of here faster, but that's not really how it works here. <laughs> nope. No, I'm stuck down here until they feel like letting me out. Hmm? You'll try to let me out? How? You'd have to know who cast the spell in the first place. It's really going to be difficult for that. There are hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of entities. And trust me, you're not going to meet even a tiny fraction of them. We'll still try anyway. Well... I most definitely commend you on your tenacity, your stubbornness, but really, you don't need to worry about me. Mm. Fine. I can't force you not to. It sucks, but it's whatever. I do suggest from somebody who's been stuck here for at least a good hundred years or so now. Yes, it, is, it has been that long. You can shut your mouth again. Considering that I know how dark and desolate and quiet this place gets, I do strongly suggest you leave as soon as possible. Escape this prison. It's mine anyway, and I'll get out soon enough. But until then, I'll still do my best to help humans like you, especially if they come into here. I'll warn every single one of them if they come down here. I'll let them know what they're up against, and hopefully they'll listen. I hope you'll listen, and you'll get out of here. Maybe right now. And the idea. It's my prison. It doesn't need to be anybody else's. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. <laughs> I told you, you don't need to try and get me out of this. I've come to terms with it. That's fine. Alright, well, thanks for being willing to try. You should go now. Here, take this dagger with you. You might need it. Okay, well... You only use it if you have to, I guess. But, trust me, I'm sure there'll be a time you'll need it. If not, 
Oh, that'll be a pretty cool souvenir, I guess. Alright. Goodbye, and good luck. Because trust me, you'll need it.